Hi Kingdom Kids, I'm Donna the Billionaire and I'm back with another video and I'm excited to bring this word to you today because I think that it will help somebody. So I just wanted to encourage you all today to just trust God with all things um, because he did promise us that he would be with us during hard times, but not that everything would just be perfect, right? And so this message came from Genesis 12. And I think this story relates to my life a lot because right now I know that God basically told me to leave my hometown, but I don't necessarily know exactly the answer to everything. I don't know exactly, you know, I don't understand everything that's happening. But what I can say is that everywhere that I go is always provision, always protection. And like, you know, the Bible says that I think Romans, let me see. I think it's Romans 14. Oh, Romans 8 and 14 says that for all that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Those that are led by the Spirit are sons of God, right? And so when you allow God to lead you, when you invite God in spiritually, you become like God gives you direction basically. Um you know, God, it says that the word of God will be a lamp unto your feet. So when you are on a journey and you have no idea exactly what steps God wants you to take, as you stay in his presence, he will, like, give you insight as you go along. It's not like you just automatically know every single thing about how stuff is going to go when you get there. But if you just consult God and everything. So, like, when you get to, I would say even before you get to a different state, pray about it. God will let you know, is this something you should do or is something that you shouldn't do? Um, and I think that provision will always be there when it's something that God wants you to do. Doors will open when it's something that God wants you to do. And like, so once you make it there, if it's like somebody you might need to go meet with or a certain opportunity you might need to take, pray about it. God is going to let you know if it's a good idea or if it's not a good idea. So I just feel like, although you might not have all the steps at the beginning, consult God and everything as you go along. Don't just get there and be like, oh, hey, parlay, it's time for me to do things my way. Like, consult God every step of the way so that God can give you instructions, right? And so the reason why I'm coming to y'all with this is because in Genesis 12, right, it says that the Lord said to Abram, leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. God didn't say go to Nineveh. He didn't say go to Jerusalem. He said go to the place that I will show you. He did not even tell him where it was. So imagine having to have blind faith, right? And trust God to get up and leave everything and everybody that you know, not even knowing exactly where it is that you're going. Okay? So it says, leave your native country, your relatives, and your fa um, father's family and go to a land that I will show you. The only instructions he had was leave everything and go. The where was not, God said, go to the land that I will show you, which means as you pick up your feet and you decide you're on your way, I'm going to lead you to where it is that I want you to be, which is so good for me. Because right now I'm like literally going through the same thing. Um... I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. So beautiful, right? So um, go back to Genesis 12, read it. But my, just, my advice to y'all is just to like trust God with all things. It might not look at the moment as if everything... You know, like sometimes you can get somewhere that you know God sent you to, but because you didn't get the job on the first day or because you didn't get the house on the first day or, you know, like you might start to doubt what's going on. But how about maybe a job is not what God wanted you to do. Maybe God wanted you to move there and start your business or maybe um, God had a better area area for you to move to because he's elevating you now. You might have thought that oh I'm going to this area because it's what I can afford but God is saying like no this is your season of promotion and elevation so it's not about what you can afford it's about what I am about to give you okay so to just keep that in mind everybody I am anointed I am fully relying on God 
My faith is great. My God is a miracle worker and my God is all powerful. Okay. Uh, remember Matthew 7 and 11. Y'all know that's heavy on this channel. God said if the evil one can give good gifts to his children, what better gifts can um, the, our Father in Heaven give to those who ask? Our Father loves us. He never just going to leave us. You know what I'm saying? So don't be doubtful. I know this is like a season for a lot of people like transitioning, promotion, moving, all type of things. So just don't get discouraged. Consult God in everything that you do. <laughs> okay. Keep your sword. And um, yeah, I wish y'all the best. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell and I will see y'all in my next video.